Yelp wants to make sure you have all the important health information about your next restaurant choice. They already launched their health score alerts in San Francisco, but now they're expanding the pilot to Los Angeles and Chicago. Joining us now to tell us more about the program, Vince Salito from Yelp. Thank you so much for joining us today, Vince. Thanks, Maria. This program started in San Francisco a few years ago, and then the warning came as well, and now you're expanding. Obviously, it's been doing well here. It has. So we started by posting health scores on restaurants across the country. Uh, really, that was instigated by the study in Los Angeles that found that when the restaurants post their letter grades in the windows of the restaurant, health improves. We said, how can we take that national and put it on our website so consumers can have better access to it? Then we decided to go one step further and post warnings on the worst offending businesses due to hygiene in San Francisco. That's worked very well, and so now we're going to take it to Los Angeles and Chicago and hopefully beyond. It's important because a lot of people really rely on Yelp when they go out to these businesses and these restaurants. So how do you define which restaurants get these warning labels? Sure. Our lives program takes data that local health inspectors find on restaurants, and then we aggregate that and publish it. In the city of Los Angeles's case, they send us the information directly. In Chicago, we have to go and aggregate that from other websites. And then we take that data, and then we put a warning badge on the restaurants that score the least. Okay, so Los Angeles, Chicago, they're going to get these warnings now. Mm -hmm. Tell me in San Francisco, though, I am hoping that there are not a lot of restaurants that have these warnings. Well, we post these warning banners on the, the most egregious offenders. The good news is we had a study done on our San Francisco pilot program, and we found that there really was some coercive effect or some incentivizing because businesses that scored poorly and were then labeled uh, were not on the list six months later meaning they either cleaned up their act and did, did a better job for consumers, or they might have gone out of business. And how fast do you remove the warning from that Yelp profile of theirs once they're, you know, they've uh, up to their game in the restaurant as far as health concerns. Sure, the warning label stays on the page of the business until their next clean bill of health from the health inspector uh, uh, that allows them to then be uh, upgraded above the worst offenders. And. You know, we've seen some businesses, they're not happy with some of the reviews out there. What if they try to remove this health score and this warning, or can they? Well, businesses aren't able to remove the warning. Um, this is solely dependent on their health score that their own local jurisdiction gives them. Uh, and once their health score improves and they've cleaned up their act, then that warning alert will come down. Got it. And, you know, I'm assuming some of these restaurant owners are going to say this is, you know, a financial impact on our business and we need the money to try to improve some of the health uh, conditions in our restaurants. What would you say to well, that? Well, I'd, I'd say really there's foodborne illnesses on the rise. The CDC found that uh, just in 2018 there were over 120 deaths from foodborne illness in America and that's completely avoidable. There's really no excuse to have poor hygiene in a place that serves food and I think consumers have the right to know both what their restaurants are scoring and which restaurants are actually among the worst in the city. Okay, so it's uh, happening here now in San Francisco. It's mm -hmm. going to roll out in L.A. tomorrow in Chicago. Mm -hmm. What are the plans for the future? Is this program going to expand throughout the country? Well, we've been able to bring health scores onto the business pages for restaurants on Yelp uh, to about uh, 30 plus states in the country. And we'd like to take this warning program, which goes one step further, and take it to all the other states as well. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much again, Vince Salito from Yelp. Thank you again for joining us this afternoon. Happy to be here, Maria. Thank, Thank you. you.